How you doing? I'm Trini Sanders and you're on the infamous Living Room Network. Divine Power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. The one month clear conscience challenge is completely underway. Everything is going good. This is the second video after the first video, which I just let you guys know the challenge. Um, so I don't want to get any messages from you all this month about how you can't get over the past or you guilt tripping over you know feeling a certain type of way of what somebody told you no it is the clear conscience challenge this month so we want to free our mind keep our mind free of all extreme negatives that may be holding us back uh superstitions if you didn't watch my video on superstitions yesterday I'm, i highly advise you to go watch that that's the halloween edition um so you know that's a video that's that's very important going into a new year you know you want to release all superstitions that you've been told about what you have to believe in what's right versus what's wrong because all that stuff is lies um so today is a new day guys um so with that being said let's get right down into the bottom of this video why quality is better than quantity um growing up you may have heard all different types of um beliefs about money and finances and how you should live your life um, on a budget uh, I grew I personally grew up around a lot of people who like to save a lot um, you probably grew up in the traditional thinking that you have to save 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 your money save your money save 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 your money like you was probably told to save your money so much to the point that it kind of backfired on you to the point that you don't even save money you know and, and that's that's just how it that's just the law of the universe the law of the universe is if well one of the laws of the universe is if um you have resistance towards a thing then um you repel it you repel it meaning um if you if you constantly think on something too much then you have a chance of you know um you know shooing it away from you or for instance if you have if you think about money all the time you probably don't keep it you know what i mean you probably have money issues i know a lot of people who i grew up with who always thought about money but they don't have no money to show for it today now they don't realize this law but i i do i realize the law of attraction and how it works and you can't you got to have no resistance you got to have no resistance to everything around you like um when i say quality over quantity what i mean is always shoot for the best things you know when you go into the grocery store and when you're buying grocery items or when you go into the mall and you see a a hundred dollar pair of pants but you normally buy twenty dollar pair of pants get the hundred dollar pair of pants you know why because they're gonna last longer you're gonna feel like you value them more the fabric is better a lot of people are gonna like them because people actually took time when people made that hundred dollar pair of pants they actually took time to value what they're doing versus making a pair of pants that cost twenty dollars you know the machine just threw that together like Pew, okay new pants like and then you got them on like because they was cheap and um so it's always better to buy quality over quantity um if you shop on a budget all the time you can't never grow you never gonna grow every time you go to the store you're gonna be looking for cheap stuff and when you get cheap stuff what happens to cheap stuff it breaks it tears it don't last long so you know there are a lot of people who are living in this mindset of you know having resistance towards money and abundance and that's why they could never be abundant you know it's funny because like i said i grew up around a lot of people who always you know wanted me to save money but when i looked at their life they ain't got no money you know what i'm saying and that's the reason why is because you can't spend your life thinking about money and expect to have money the people that have the most money in this world are people who don't think about money like you and i do you know a billionaire i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure a billionaire don't even have to think about money you know why because it's, it's like an endless supply to them probably you know or it's like a abundance is an endless supply to a lot of people because a lot of people don't grow up thinking that they have to work hard to make a dollar you know if you 
always thinking I have to work hard to make this dollar. Let me get to this next paycheck again and again and again, week after week after week after day after day after year after year. You think like that every single day, 365. Don't ever expect to get rich because that's not how riches come. That's not how prosperity comes. That's not how abundant comes. Things come to you when you least expect it. You know, um, that boyfriend you you looking for, you know why you ain't got him yet? Because you think about it too much. You spend your time worrying, worrying that it won't come. You know, the reason why you don't got that husband yet. You spend so much time trying to build yourself and make yourself up worrying that it won't come. You know, you wor you can't worry yourself up to the truth. You have to let it go and let God. And then when you let it go and let God, when you let things go and just let God do it, and, and you just live your life and be happy the way you're supposed to be, you will get the quality. You will always get the quality, you know, but, you know, don't be shopping on no budget because you don't, you can't, you don't want to get a, a item because you really want it, but then you don't want to get it because you think it's going to take your money. Well, who's the supply of all your needs? <laughs> Ask yourself that. So, um, over time, man, I learned this, I learned this law. Um, and there, there are still a lot of people who I'm around on the, on an everyday basis who I have to, you know, kind of hear. So I kind of have to put up my blockers, my, my, my radar blockers or whatever I want to call it because I don't have a name for it. But, um, you know how, like when you hear people talking about, you know, their beliefs based on how they see stuff, but you got a whole different belief system going on. You try to, you got to kind of exit out in your mind, but, um, you when you don't think about a lot of stuff man i'm telling you it works it works when you don't think about getting certain stuff and you okay when all you have to do is just sit and just imagine all the stuff you want i say this all the time just sit and imagine the stuff you want and then just know that it's gonna come and let it go and let god do the rest let the universe do the rest. If you do that, you'll notice you get what you want every single time. And it'd be like magic. But the moment, you know what I'm saying, you continue to start worrying about, I'm, am I going to find my, my wife? Am I going to find me a husband? You keep worrying about that. You ain't going to never find nobody. You know, like I said, life is mysterious. Um, and it works in a complete opposite way that a lot of people think. You know, a lot of people think you have to like in order to be successful, for instance, you know, a lot of people are not going to be successful because that's what they're trying to do so hard every single day. But until you let go of all that trying to be successful and you just do what you love to do, it'll come. It'll come. You know, if you if you just do what you love to do, <laughs> you're going to be successful either way it go because you love to do something. You know, and it's gonna, it's already successful because you love to do it. So you don't have to think about, oh, I, am I meeting this goal? Am I meeting this quota? Am I getting these numbers? Am I on top? Do I got 20,000 friends? Do I got 20,000 likes? Oh, let me take this picture right here because it's pretty so I can get 125 likes. Let me take another picture so I can get 200 likes. Oh my God, everybody really loving me now. And it goes on and on and on. You never gonna get no rest. You never gonna get no real peace because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. But the time, the moment that you let go of everything that people want you to be and you start doing what you love to be or what you would love to be and you start doing the things that you love to do that's when you become successful and it's like effortlessly that's when people start to be attracted to you and you be like dang it just automatically happening and um you know how i know because you know when i first started this youtube channel once upon a time i had zero friends now I got 370 something subscribers and every day in the morning I wake up somebody some done sent me a nice compliment talking about how this video helped them. And so um and now it's it, it's nonstop, you know, it's just nonstop every day compliments. And it's to the point now I'm used to it. I don't <laughs> you know, I'm just it's just like I don't once one time I got excited, you know, but now it's like it's part of life now And that's how it is when you start doing the things that you love to do You would just people will just recognize you for doing that what you love to do If you like to braid hair and you do it so good because you love to do it <laughs> You have people calling you like hey, can you do my hair? I mean, that's just how life works. It's the law of attraction, you know, and um, so It's always better to have quality over quantity 
you know, spend the big bucks. Spend the big bucks. You know why? Because you're going to be happy with it. You're going to love it. You know, the perfume smells better. It smells more rich. The clothes look more uh, good on you. You know, it's fresh. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all ragged, rigid, or whatever you want to call it. It don't look cheap. Go get the expensive hairdo. Get the expensive hairdo. So what? Spend your money on it. But you know what? It's going to look nice. Right? It's going to look nice. You're going to feel good. Right? You're going to be more attractive to people around you. Right? Yeah. Guys are going to be on you. For real. For real. For real. For real. You're going to get that $300 hairdo. They're going to be on you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's, it's better, man. And then on top of that, last but not least, I ain't gonna hold you too long. But then on top of that, if you continue to if you continue to live your life, by, you know, be, buying and shooting for quality versus quantity, it will make you be better than yesterday because you will have something to live up to. Like if you know you just went out and bought a foreign car because you like the quality of it, you're going you gonna to work harder to keep it paid for, right? Yeah, so it's, it, that's with anything. If you go get the house of your dreams, um, you're going to work hard to make sure that this house of your dreams stays in, in, in tip-top shape so you can sell it to somebody else when y'all done. You know what I mean? And so it's always helping you grow when you buy quality things and you do quality stuff. You know, it always helps you grow and become a much more abundant person because you're leveling up. You know, you're not trying to just save and be tight and be stingy and just stay in, in this little bottomless pit who's a cheap person and who always like to take the cheap way out. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, don't y'all know uh, once upon a time I used to I used to always just want to park on the streets and stuff like that because it was free. <laughs> and guess what happened? My car started to get towed. You know what I'm saying? Like my, I had people telling me, look. Park in the parking garage, but I always seen that little twenty dollar sign right there. Like, nah, I ain't spending no twenty dollars to park in the uh, parking garage when I can park on the side of the road for free. And guess what? Every time I park on the side of the road, something bad happen. I get a ticket for something, or you know, parking in the area I'm supposed to be parked in. The car get towed, whatever. So, do the thing that is quality. You know, do the thing that is, you know, the best, the better decision. You know, so. I hope this message resonated with you. I'm Trent Henderson. And this is the infamous Living Room Network. One month, the one month um, clear conscience challenge is currently underway, guys. Uh, once again, if you want to go to the website and look at the new Speak Up, Let Your Voice Be Heard winners, just go to the website on the sidebar, click Rim Challenges, and you will see the four people who won this month. Congratulations to the four people once again. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.